What's going on guys, it's that time of year again, NHL 23 is now out, so I'm going to spend a stupid amount of money on hot packs here at the start of the year, try and get McDavid, try and get Matthew, somebody crazy, so we've got 5 unopened packs here, and I'm probably going to buy like $150 worth of bags here, just again, try and get something, so um, I think we get to choose one of 5 X Factors, uh, at least I think it's the uh, Women's X Factors card as well, so I'm hoping I can get Marie Philip Poulin if she's available, um, there she is. Okay, I think she's the best one. Like, when we were looking at the hot rating, she was 87. Same as McDavid. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go with Poulin there. I think that's actually a pretty sick card to get off the bat. Um, I feel like she had the best shot of everybody, so we can upgrade her. I think she could actually be a pretty good player for us in the future. Um, after that, this is the Spotlight Choice Pack. So I think, are these guys 88 overall, or maybe they end up being 88? They start at 84. So let's reveal all here. Um, a lot of, you know, choices here for sure. I'm actually not even sure I'm gonna go for Byram there, Pashnak. His used to be kind of cool because he is, you know, the cover boy, of course. I have to look these a little bit closer and then make my decision. 12 seconds later. Alright, guys, so after looking at all the cards, I think I'm gonna go with Trevor Zegers here simply because his first X Factor there is the skilled up one, which helps you pull off like the Michigan lacrosse pass. And I think it'd be so cool if I could actually score one of those in game. And I feel like, you know, who's gonna help me more than that than Trevor Zegers? So if I ever score one of those, if it's against one of you guys, I think you gotta instantly, you know, quit the game for the day. Um, next here, Pure X Factor Player Choice Pack, one of 18. Okay, so a lot of options here. I'm hoping like McDavid's available. I'm not sure if we have, you know, everybody available to us. Can I not just reveal all? We got Alexander Barkov there. There's gotta be a way to just. Can I not just show everybody? Eventually. All right, guys, we got one more X Factor card to open up here. I'm not sure if I just missed like the reveal all thing, but uh, so far I'm not got McDavid or Matthews for that matter, even McCarr, so I don't think I get the best luck here. I do have Dylan Larkin, Kaprizov's kind of sick, Marner. I think Yossi and Shashurkin are the two highest rated ones. I pulled both 78s. I know you could get 79 like McDavid, 79, so I think Matthews too. So again, I'm going to have to look through here to decide who we want. First, to show you guys actually, I got the X-Factor Matthew Kuchuk in my starter pack along with the base Ben Bishop. Only 74 overall, but obviously he's like 6'7", so he might actually be my starting goalie. Alright guys, we came down to Lurkin and Yossi. I think I'm going to go Yossi though. Highest rated guy apart from Shashurkin. Like I said, I got Ben Bishop. And I've already got a couple X-Factor forwards in Kachuk and Poulin, so I feel like why not add a defenseman here. Would have preferred, you know, Kale McCarr, but I'll take Roman Yossi, especially, you know, for free there. Really can't be too upset. Um, six power collectible, I'll just, you know, open that on my own. Pre-order team building player choice pack. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure what we're getting in this one. Ooh, okay, so it looks like our choice of an 84. Um, who's the Red Wing, or just who's a cool player we could get? Lane McDonald there for the Flames, actually, is pretty sick. Um, Brendan Morrison obviously was on that line with Mads, number two Z, sick line for the Canucks back in the day. Cal Quincy, okay. Alright guys, so speaking of Brendan Morrison, that's actually giving me my pick here, just because I was looking at his stats, he's one of the fastest ones, he's also got the tape to tape X Factor, I feel like he's a good pick. We actually get to pick two, okay, I didn't realize that. Maybe I will just take Quincy here. I was also looking at like Kale Fleury as another defenseman, but I'll just go with my favorite team. And next year guys, time to open up some real packs, I'm thinking first pack of NHL 23, first real pack, shades are on, jumbo elite pack. 50k, we're of course opening it with our free points there before we have to go and buy some. Alright. Oh, 83, Lee Stecklin, left defenseman, okay. I did notice this, I was watching some streams and stuff. The blue there on the customization cards, as well as like the lower end cards, it looks so much cooler than like an actually decent pull there in 83. Um, who's that? Oh, okay. 81, 81, Coleman and Stacy. Alright, so far not too bad. Tolman in there. Honestly, I'm actually okay with 83. We get Voracek there. Um, again, the blue looks so much cooler. I'd love, though, if we get somebody, you know, maybe 85 plus. That'd be pretty nasty. Seth Jones, only an 81. Samson off there, higher rated than Seth Jones. It's interesting. Uh, Dylan Dubé, still waiting here to see something crazy. Um, Eric Johnson, okay. So, like I said, honestly, not too bad at first pack. And next, you guys are going to try one of the 25k elite packs. Hopefully, uh, I can get something decent in here. Come on, get Silverberg. Let's skip this one. Don't see. Pavelski 82. I mean, that's not terrible. Matthew Shane as well. Usually is a sick card in Hut. Uh, so I think, you know, first day of the game. It's pretty solid. I think we're just going to work our way down here, guys. We'll try the Prime Pack next. Costs 200 points. This one's probably not that great. But I think we have enough points to open up like, all the packs. So it's whatever. Um, we get another Scott Wedgwood there. That was a rough one. And next year, guys, we're going to try one of these early access jumbo player packs. I realized we actually forgot to do Dry Style 3 for that last one. So. We're gonna pretend it never happened. Uh, that's why it's such a bad pack. We never opened it. <laughs> this is the true third pack. Come on, let's get something good. 
Comtois there. All these blues. Ooh, I don't see like any white or anything. John Gibson 83. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of like high rated goalies. I honestly might rock Bishop over him. That's a pretty sick card. 82 primetime Ehlers. Okay. I'm not really sure. It's probably just like slightly higher rated than his regular version, but uh, very cool looking card for sure. Come on. This last one was in bad E3, but I'm looking for like an 85 plus. Obviously, we'd love to get like McDavid or one of the icons like a Marilyn Mia, Wayne Gretzky, Bowen Byram there. Ooh, Peterson, only 82. That's crazy. He's still obviously a pretty solid player, especially first day of the game. Again, the blue looks so cool. Caulfield, 80 overall. I feel like he's one of those cards, though. Yeah, he's got a pretty decent shot. He's really fast. He'll play better than, like, his rating. Flurry there, another 83 goalie. I uh, knew there's, like, new sets now. You can trade in, like, high-rated guys to get guaranteed 84. So maybe trade in Flurry and Gibson for, you know, 84 forward. Smith there. The third, Scott Wedgwood. Ryan Hartman. Um, Harmon there. Troy Terry. Okay, so that pack could have been better. All right, guys, so I just did the set for the Premium Gold Players Pack. Guaranteed 80 overall plus. Also, I bought 20,000 hot points, which I think costs, like, double the price of the game. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> leave a like on this video. Uh, I'll be make that back. Hopefully, we get something good. Ooh, our best pull yet, 85 Barkov. I know he is kind of slower. Uh, yeah, 85 speed, but for right now, um, definitely, you know, I'm not going to say no to an 85. Our best pull, I think, so far is an 83. Hadn't even gotten 84. So, uh, we've got some more points here. Going to go back to the packs. Try and get something. Let's go with this uh, early access one again. 37.5k pack. Come on. Let's save the 50k for later. I still can't believe, like, 250k so far. Pretty much nothing to show for. Um, we have an 80 in this. 81 Suryachev. Ooh! 85 <laughs> Trevor Zegris. Okay. I mean, he probably shouldn't be that high rated, but... Uh, Oh, you got McTavish there as well. But nevertheless, you're still an 85. I don't think I can, like, trade him in, though, with that spotlight card I have, because that's already, like, an 84, so I guess probably selling this. And you know what, guys? We're just going to open up a bunch of these Prime Packs here. This is the 10K pack. Don't expect to really get anything, but, you know, you never know. Uh, tip it there. Brock Besser for 10K. I feel like that's decent. I'm going to try to open up another 10K pack. Ooh, 83. Uh, Primetime Klingberg. Add that to the defense. Ooh, Matthew Savoy, too. Pretty sick. Alright guys, the last couple of Prime Packs haven't pulled above an 80, so maybe they'll change here, the second last pack. Come on, we get a couple things. Jordan Kyrie 82, I will take, and uh, Samuel Chari 82, I'll also take. I think Kyrie as well should be pretty fast. Yeah, 88 speed excel, I can see him actually being kind of nasty. I'm curious, so 86 plus there, 6%. I feel like between all the packs we're opening up, we should be able to get one, but I don't know. I guess we'll check the odds on this one after too. Come on, eyes closed. Reveal, go to the end. Please be like, there's like a green, like a legend card sitting there. Um, okay, so we got JS Johnson, Letty, Zaka, Jerry McCann. Oh, Zach Rowenski, only 81. Ryan Ellis, Tyler Bertuzzi. So, like, some decent players. That one at the beginning is probably just like an 82. Chris Letang. Okay, so yeah, this pack had a bunch of decent players, but really no one too amazing. All right, guys, now next year for this orange elite pack, I'm bringing out the orange bouncing buddy. I'm pretty sure the last time I did this, we got like a 99 or something insane. 86 Ash left. You actually have another 86. If the bouncing buddy pack works, Taylor Hall. Let's go! Let's go! Kid! So, uh, yeah, we'll try this again here. Tried and true method. That, oh my god, that didn't bounce at all. I wonder if I actually stopped my recording. That'd been terrible. Oh my god. Oh, 84, okay. And that thing just launched by my desk. I'll take an 84. Oh, for a second I thought that was way cooler. 80 Clark Gillies. 1, 1,500 coins actually. Lafreniere. Radish, Brad, Bolvier. Captain card. Honestly, not a terrible pack, I'd say. All right, guys, this next one here. Not sure how many of you guys are watching Andor, but I got a little TIE fighter uh, metal figure there. I don't know. I feel like the pack luck should have been better. I've watched some streams. No one had like insane luck pulling, you know, multiple McDavid or anything like that, but I feel like people are getting better pulls than I've been getting, so let's go. Okay, 83 Sarah Fillier. Uh, Hopefully I said that right. Barkley Goudreau. The blue always in. Ooh, Alex Debrink at 83. Probably gonna play better than 83. Bo Horvat 82. This is actually a pretty solid pack, to be honest. Alright, guys, I'm not sure how smart this is. I'm just trying to know these untradeable packs. 550 points. The last one sucked, but I don't know. We gotta try like a new pack here. Uh, it's pretty big, so we'll just skip it. Uh, let's see here. We do get one guaranteed 81 plus. Don't tell me. Ooh, Jake Densley, too. He should be. Ooh! Okay, 85 Artemi Panarin. 
Uh, let's tie with Barco for our best pull yet. That's pretty sick. All right, guys, I'm gonna go back to the untradeable pack here. Obviously, we get a sick pull. It's gonna be stuck on our team, but I'm fine with having McDavid for the rest of the year. Um, better than, you know, just some crap pulls we can sell. Come on. Ooh, okay. Garrett Grant there, prime time. Only overall. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? I think, is that two untradeable Panarins? That's a troll. I mean, come on. 285s, but I can only use one. On the storefront, guys, it said you can only open up one of these per 24 hours. So the fact it's letting me open up more, I'm thinking I'm gonna take advantage. Maybe it's like a, a better pack. We have gotten back to back Panarins. Um, again, it's untradeable. I'm sure I can use them to set down the road. Even though for now we get nothing. Power up collectible, that's actually pretty valuable. Um, all right, I'll take that. Open up another 20k pack here, guys. We get Brian Russ to start. Uh, so far, this haven't really been that great. 82 Samsonov and Hurdle. Ooh, 83 Forsberg. That was actually a pretty good one. All right, guys, so this is the trading set for an 83 overall card. 482s it cost us. We get Bobrovsky. I really was not looking for a goalie, but we can use him. Guaranteed 84. Hopefully, it's somebody nasty. I'm not sure the best 84 in the game is, but hopefully we get them. Michelle Carvinen, we've actually already got. Come on, EA. Let's see, uh, Chris Letang, 82 is not bad. Ooh! Oh, an X Factor. I mean, still, it's something. I was really hoping again, Dress Kill and Mew. Um, let's see what we get. I know there's like no crazy animation anymore. 77 X Factor Mitch Martyr, tradable as well. That's actually pretty nasty. Next one here, guys, Yanni Gord. Uh, Hyman, Hannafin again. Ooh, 83 Doughty, we'll take that. Unfortunately, guys, last few packs really didn't get much. I think uh, 81 high. Ooh, there's a Banachite 83, there we go. Uh, Cam York as well, if I want to try him. Verhage, Shillington, okay. So, decent pack there. Even though it's an untradable pack, guys, I'm going to go back to this one, just because, for the most part, I feel like it's given us better luck. Here we go. Again, got to skip it, it's just too big of a pack. Uh, we got 82 Bennington. Uh, who's that? Kirk McClain there, 81. This isn't looking good. I don't like to see a white dot, purple dot. 83 Morgan Riley though. Not terrible, but again, it's like double the price of the 20k. Alright guys, after getting Riley there, going back to 20k's. I feel like I'm grinding <laughs> Nick Ehlers prime time. Why do I keep pulling like the same cards? I feel like that was a thing last year too. It's always like the same pulls. Definitely not going to complain about that though again. I think it's just, you know, such a sick looking card. 82 Ehlers though, I'm not sure. Was he gonna go for 5k maybe? Ran out of points finally guys, 3k left here. Um, Josh Norris, Cam York, we get another prime time. Cody Glass, only an 80, I'll take it though. Let's go another 20k here. I'm not sure if I want the Glass one to be 5,500 coin pack. Let's see, Sam Bennett in this one. Another Morgan Riley, okay, we'll take him. And you know what guys, I decided to pull enough good defensemen, so I'm trading in Kyle Quincy along with the two Carvins there. We're gonna get a guaranteed 85. So a last pack here, guys, aside from the 85 plus. Overall, I feel like we had decent luck, but I was really hoping, like, at least one purple. Uh, I cannot believe we didn't get that. Blake Coleman there, Joel Farabee, Grubauer, Pareko, okay. So, ending it with an 85. I don't think it's 85 plus either. I think it's just an 85. It is 85 plus. You can get McDavid, but uh, I don't believe that, that is the case. Yeah, guaranteed 85 overall player. If it's Panarin... <laughs> It just don't be Panarin. Okay, we get Nicole Hensley here. Like, no offense to her, I'm not gonna be using a 5-6 goalie, even though she has 85 overall there. Uh, just doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, 90 speed and agility, maybe that's the meta, maybe I'll try it out, but I just don't see it happening. And next year, guys, I got a bonus pack for you. After I stopped recording, I realized I could trade in a bunch of gold players for an X-Factor choice pack. So, uh, I'm gonna see what we get here. One of three. The match we get McDavid, that'd be pretty insane. So, first one here. Who's it gonna be? Ah, uh, Kale McCarr! Okay, that's actually my best X Factor yet. Uh, it comes in this pack. Oh, Austin Matt, what? So far, the two choices have been better than anything yet. Dylan Larkin as well, one of my faves. Wow, that was McDavid. I think that would have been the best X Factor choice pack ever. Um, but, oh my gosh, Matthew McCarr are both so sick. All right, guys, so it was a tough decision, but in the end, I'm gonna go with Matthews here just because he is the higher rated one, plus he got an insane shot on him. Again, I'm so happy. He got to choose between Matthews and McCarr. Literally, only thing that could have been better than that was Connor McDavid, so what a way to end it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, leave that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit something down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.